Behind these walls in rural Arkansas, seven men are preparing to die, all convicted of capital murder, all scheduled to be executed over an 11 day span starting Monday. It is unprecedented that a state has tried to execute this many people in this short a period of time. Jeff Rosenzweig represents three of the inmates and calls this assembly line killing. It is a race against time because one of the drugs used in the lethal injection, midazolam, will expire at the end of the month. Manufacturers have been reluctant to resupply states after the drug was used in a botched 2014 execution in Oklahoma. We've suffered long enough. But for Susan Connie, the punishment can't come so soon bad. enough. Because I've been promised this for 25 years by the state. Death row inmate Don Davis shot her mother, Jane Daniel, in the back of the head during a robbery 27 years ago. And my mom really suffered that last day. Executions are relatively rare here in Arkansas. These will be the first in 12 years. The state now finds itself at the center of the nationwide debate over the death penalty. After peaking in the late 90s, capital punishment in the U.S. is at its lowest point in a quarter century, just 20 executions last year. Lethal injection is still the preferred method, but drug shortages have prompted some states to consider other options, such as a firing squad in Utah and nitrogen gas in Oklahoma. I'm so sorry. Lawyers for the condemned in Arkansas are now desperately arguing a rush job makes it more likely something will go wrong. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.